and I would like to introduce you on a concept that we can be able to use to manage uh, uh, ISP uh, software that can be able to build customer, be able to send SMSs and be able to send um, email and build the customers. Now in this case I have come up with this network the setup whereby we have the internet as one connection we have microtik router within uh, the, uh, within the, the, the network and then we have we have microtik radius here that actually serve to provide the users account that are within the network we have the switch that is more for internet connection to the users and uh, when this user is logging in or want to access the internet they can be able to connect to the microtik microtik can be able to follow up with the, the radius and query the radius whether the users is allowed to do that and then connect to the uh to the internet this can be done either by, via hotspot can be done by, via pp pp ppp or ppoe so in that in that case we have used a number of software we have used um, the free radius we have used uh, free sms for receiving sms's and we are using order for managing our client and invoicing so I'll go back to the system that we have developed. We have developed a system within all the modules that has ISP as a, as a feature and has uh, and has um, has ISP as a feature and has mobile connectivity. The mobile connectivity module allows us to be able to receive SMSs and is able to interpret SMSs into a payment. So when a SMS come. Uh, though I'll go deeper into it, it has section for formats. We can be able to see that uh, that's a payment that has, uh, has done and be able to match the following fields into a form of a payment and be able to register that as a payment and complete the invoice. I'll, I'll first dive first on ISP itself. ISP has the following uh, areas. It has connection, it has subscription, billing, gateway, uh, setting, settings and also uh, automated action these are automated action that can, can, are supposed to be performed by the system but in case they fail you can be able to perform them by clicking on any of them on the following link i start with connection connection is kind of the address that uh, an ip a static ip that is actually tied between you and the customer so in this case you provide the username password the package that they are using within that the gateway that they are using expiry date billing all those details and then you define the connection the second section is where you define the customer the subscription itself you are able to define both from here if you want to just add that once it you'll be, you'll be able to define the connection where, when creating the subscription itself then the billing is the cycle the cycle how often is that done so you'll see that this cycle of these two uh, particular customers starts from uh, July 14 to uh, uh, it starts from June 14 to July uh, 14. So we have the gateways, the gateways uh, that is used. Gateway we are using free radius, and this we are connecting via the data database. Uh, our API we are using the database itself directly. We have billing cycles. Billing cycle can be any of these monthly, weekly, whichever is case that you define here. We have packages. Packages can be two Mbps, one Mbps, and remember when you're setting package, during the setup, these are prerequisites that need to be have uh, any customer that have a subscription needs to set within it. So this will be added to any uh, anyone who who have a subscription with us. So for this, I'll go direct to this, uh, the subscription section and create a new subscription. We will choose a customer. In this case, it's called partner. Uh, within this ERP, we will choose customer and then we will we'll define the connection. Remember, you can select a connection there and all you can create a new one. You can create a two, uh, two megabyte gateway is radius. Uh, our user username we can test. We have remember we had to test one and test two. We'll go for and enter test three. And once we do that, this this will be out of field, so there's no need of uh, uh, filling those two. For the testing purposes, we have made them to be editable, but uh, later on in the next updates, we'll be, we'll be able to hide them so, so that they can be, uh, they, they are not supposed to be edited. Then you can publish that, mark it as a uh, publish. Once you do that, and once you save, and the six, this section you'll be able to see the preset items that are supposed to every single subscription is supposed to have. In this case, we have router, we have cable, we have installation. 
when anyone is uh, coming in, they are, they're supposed to have that, that. In case you want to add a new one, you have a provision to edit that. And maybe in this case, we forgot to add labor. You can be able to add labor like that and uh, state uh, which subscription you're doing. Uh, you can leave that as, as null because it will auto pick. You can set the currency and then say, let's say we are, we are charging 1k, uh, 7 cross. It has added to, into this particular uh, subscription and cable. Uh, now you can be able to see we have router, cable, installation and labor that are supposed to, to be within uh, this subscription. When it clicks generate uh, invoice and the invoices will have now the invoice listed there and we can see the amount that person is uh, that person is particularly billed so if you go back to subscription go to our user 3 test 3 we have an invoice section and this is the invoice uh, it, um, unfortunately i think this person had deposited some money that's how the system works if someone has deposited the money to the system the invoice will be auto paid it will automatically pick pick the amount that is within the system and reconcile by with it by itself you don't have to do anything if anyone has a has any amount within the system the system will be able to auto pay now, once we have that uh, and the system is set like that we, we the next section is to process payment because the, what we need to do now is to see whether this person will be added to our free radius and yes they have been added now to our free radius and if we query our free radius and say remember our person is called uh, user 3 is called user 3 if we query the system on user 3 you'll see uh, remember user test 2 was actually subscribed to 2 mbps like there we have it you see also the microtic rate limit is that so the system is able to pick that if uh, if we have like a test if we log in uh, we check whether test uh, the limits of the test 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 we we'll, we'll log in as that person the password is test username is test you see the limit is 1 mbps the maximum is 2 mbps there it is if for this one is 2 mbps 4 mbps the max uh, the max max they can go to so uh in case of an uh, any form of uh outage or anything they cannot go past 4 mbps so that's how it is defined so in this case our test uh, user 3 is is like that but because now now and also uh, uh we have the the definition of that subscription let's go to billing right now they cannot be billed because it's the first subscription that they have made it, the billing will come at the end of the month and then it will be able to define uh, the next season that they are supposed to be paying. So in case you want to see all, uh, all invoices that have been generated for a particular customer, you can be able to see them here. They are under subscription. You can be able to see all the invoices that are generated uh, for each customer. So Gateway, Gateway you define the database uh, that the, 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 the ISP is supposed to connect to. Lastly, we have the billing cycles. Billing cycles, they are defined that way, and then packages, I had explained that. These are automated functions. We have uh, process expired. This is expired. All these uh, functions are processed once per day. So uh, process expired is whereby the uh, account will process those accounts that has uh, expired. They expired the mid and uh, mid of the night. Uh, just like the way the normal um, internet connection works like for the safaricom if you have, have bought a bundle for 30 days it will expire at the middle of the night so this case it also works like that we have billing cycle uh, billing cycle is where you define whether someone can subscribe for three years you can be able to state all those information we have process speed subscription paid subscription are those that uh, we have now created and now need to be activated you can be able to process them and generate billing invoice you can be able to click that and once you go to billing invoices you will be now this that they are being built for the month of uh june 14 2021 to uh the end of july so it's just an invoice that is being generated to them that demands that they should be able to pay and once they activate on that invoice then the the the, the, the period that they are, they have access to the internet is extended with that similar, uh, similar amount 
that's how the whole system ISP work. Uh, it will take you to uh, to the mobile connectivity, then take you to the accounting part of it. Now, under this, we actually working with SMSs because uh, we we wanted to remove the complexity of um, of MPESA is whereby when we do the the API is actually sometimes more complex to work with and make the system to be online always. But in this case, when you're working with SMS, you're able to interpret this SMS as a payment. And the way we have done that and the setting, we have formats. Formats uh, have a different category of format. We are able to interpret this as a, as a payment using this field and match them as a particular form of payment uh, like that. So under this, we have set in a I'll, I'll, I'll start from the beginning. We have messages. We have payment. These are now messages, uh, messages that have been interpreted into a payment. We have gateway. Gateways is kind of uh, the uh, from which or what part of uh, input are you getting uh, the messages from? Uh, from which side? In this case, we are using Play SMS. Play SMS is a uh, uh, one software that can be able to be merged to provide the multiple form of gateways from uh, uh, the modem type of inter connection to to having that party kind of connection to row you can be added there all form of connection even twitter itself can be added there so you can have a form in a form of communication within it so in this case we are going to set uh, these are the setting now we are we have discussed format you can form you can set ignore list if a message comes with the word delivered and in this case, you'll notice that when a message is uh, received from Play SMS, and if you send a, mes a message, you get a delivery note uh, in the form of a, an SMS itself. So this needs to be ignored. This it means that there is an SMS that was sent out, and the delivery uh, of that SMS was returned as an SMS itself. So we have added that into an ignore list there. Yeah? So you can be able to define your own ignore list so that they, they should not be added within this, this list here. Yeah? So uh, apart from that, we have payment sources. In this case, we have left it open. You can have defined which sources of payment you actually trust as payment sources. So they can be M-Pesa. You can enter the word keyword M-Pesa. You can enter the, the word your phone, your particular phone number make that you want. Once you forward that message into the modem number, be recognized as a payment the other case is um messages that the more info is is uh, those payment that never came with username and uh, the system uh, realized they don't have username but they are form of payment and then they are added into more info then we have section for sms template and now these templates are the sms that are sent back uh, when a payment is being processed in this case we have customer not found in case a customer is not found an sms will go out with the word account was not found and please contact admin uh, to so that it can be processed when there is another previous uh, request that was made because this is a request that was made and therefore the payment is not complete uh, because once it is completed it's it is removed from uh, more information listing so when payment failed that message is sent when payment is successful when uh, now the customer is found the payment is done and the invoice is generated things like that uh, each time a message a different message is sent and then we have configuration whereby you can be able to configure the system we are using different settings as, uh, that enable the system to work these are now the the journal that you're using the default journal that you're using uh, the payment method the right of in case someone pay in excess where the right of go to and the currency that you're using within that so that the conversion can be done if someone sent eight thousand it's not translated at eight, as eight euros or things like that so all that, that uh, detail is under under configuration so once that payment is received and in, in, in interpreted that way as a payment it goes to payment listing here and again is added under accounting as payment let me now touch as under accounting accounting we have invoices and this also manages payment and it manages auto reconciliation of uh, when payment is uh, is made when, and also when there is a debiting system it is, it is able to do all that so we have invoices so when someone does anything and remember the the, the payment that we have we saw completed uh, for that particular customer was for router cable installation labor this was paid automatically of 41 
euros so when it has we have uh, 41 pound when it ha we have such um, it works like that so you are able to have the conversion uh, sorry uh, the payment done automatically and if there is any amount that is due you can be able to see it here for all invoices that are being generated within the system you'll have the amount due uh, in this case I think we don't have uh, we have them like this person has an, uh, an invoice that is due so if they make a payment that payment will be reconciled against those invoices that are, are due within the system itself so that's how the system works. So the pre-SMS received the SMSs is listed that way. We have configuration that uh, pre-SMS you can configure them uh, differently based on any gateway that you have. You have a listing of uh, multiple gateways that you can define with. Uh, the gateway listing. Let me go to gateway listing. All these are the type of gateway that can uh, that, uh, that you can be able to define it with. And even you have generic. The generic one is uh, whereby you define using a uh, uh, HTTPS or HTTP uh, form of uh, connection for it. So that's how it works. And I would like uh, to hear back from you. If you're interested, just call me back. Thank you.